You are a misogynist. You are the worst kind of woman hater because you come in the guise of a friend. But you are, but what you are really saying is if you wear a miniskirt and are raped, then it is your own fault. What you are really trying to do is excuse and justify your own splitty behavior. But what I find really appalling is that you think you are in position to judge others because you read a few verses from a book that is inherently wicked. Effing idiot. Listen, dude, it's nearly 2020, and women should have the right to dress how they please. It is up to the men who should have self control and respect. These women aren't hoes, men are the hoes. The other day, when I did my video talking about the way women dress, I got these two comments on my video. And I'm like, so defensive and just totally missing the point of what I was saying. Completely one in one ear and out the other. Let me look at the definition of misogynistic real quick, okay? So, a person who's strongly prejudiced against women. Strongly? I already expected that such irrational emotional responses was going to be put on that video. I'm not a misogynist. I'm a freaking realist. I'm not one that's gonna lie to make people feel better. I'm just gonna tell it like it is. Because it is what it is. And I can tell when somebody is genuinely interested in learning the truth or common sense. Or if they're just listening with the intent of responding. First of all, I don't hate women. Second of all, where in the video did I say that if a woman wears a miniskirt and she get and she gets raped, that is her fault. Where did I say that in this video? And you also said something about me trying to excuse my own crappy behavior. When I, and that's right there is further proof that you didn't watch the whole video. I already said that I'm the type of person I was raised to treat women with respect. I hold the doors for women. I don't care what the woman is wearing. I treat her with respect because that's how I was raised. But we live in a world where most men aren't raised to be like that. Like that. They weren't raised to respect women. So if you walk past some dudes in the hood, got they snap backs to the back with they skinny jeans on and diamond stud earrings with they little F-boy haircuts, it is what it is. Like, one of them gonna probably step up to you and try to get your number. And then within three days of chatting with you, he gonna be asking to Netflix and chill with you. Because you're dressed like you wanna Netflix and chill with somebody. I mean, you walking past him dressed in a freaking mini skirt, and every time he sees you, you dress like you ready for something. I mean, it is what it is. He's going to ask you to Netflix and chill because that's how a lot of young men were raised. It's unfortunate, but that's the truth. That's the world we live in. Now, if a man loses control over himself and he sees a woman wearing some leggings or a mini skirt or something like that, and he decides to rape her, he needs to be thrown under the jail cell. He needs to be punished. He needs to be castrated like... I don't care what the guy does. If it's wrong, it needs to be punished accordingly. Like, I'm not saying that. I did not say in that video that if a woman is dressed inappropriately and then she gets raped, it's completely her fault. Although, she should have exercised some wisdom in knowing I should not be going out here with my flesh just completely exposed. Like, she should have went out there knowing that that's kind of ignorant to do. It's like walking outside with 10 grand just right there in your hand, just like this, right? You walking with 10 grand in your hand, just all up in your hand like this, right? And there's people looking at you. You walking past, they looking at you like... I mean, if somebody paws off and snatch that from you, yes, they deserve to be thrown in prison for that. But... You're also kind of stupid for exposing your goods like that. Look, women, dress however the heck you want to. If you want to go outside with just a bath towel wrapped around your waist, you do you. 
It's your life, right? I can't tell you how to live your life. At the end of the day, I'm just a person with an opinion. You know what I'm saying? I might have my beliefs on how women should dress, but I don't have the right to enforce my will on other people. You do whatever you want. But don't be upset at them consequences when they start to roll around. People speak about the law of attraction. And I agree with it except without the pagan beliefs. I kind of agree with it from the standpoint of you read what you sow. So, if you go somewhere acting a certain way, you're going to reap the consequences of your actions. If you go somewhere dressed like a slut, you're going to be treated like a slut. If you go somewhere dressed like a queen, you're going to be treated like a queen. If you act confident, you're going to have people flocking towards you. If you act timid and scared and like a pushover, people are going to push you over. That's just the way things are. You know what I'm saying? And so, you don't want whoremongers, but you're dressing in the exact freaking outfit that whoremongers like. It's a reason why I said there's over 10,000 years of human history that proves that when women are less dressed, that men get excited. Because it is. For all of history, this man has been on this earth. Women that dressed inappropriately or acted a certain way or dressed a certain way, they were the ones that men snuck around with. They called them prostitutes back then. Now, even back then, the prostitutes were more modest than some of these women are today. Like, back then, the prostitutes would wear a long dress, but they would have, like, a ton of jewelry, and they'll be standing on a corner or somewhere like that. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, they just put it all on display. It's like... <laughs> They, they don't care at all now, but bottom line, the fact is, that's what human history says. And it's like, you, you can't get around it. I mean, when female dogs do certain things, male dogs get excited. When female bumblebees do certain things, male bees get excited. When female spiders do certain things, the male spiders get excited. It's just the way things are. That's why we're all here. Okay? It's called biology. You should go back to school and learn it. Because when men... Men are very visual creatures. If you're an attractive young woman and you're shapely and you're wearing hardly anything at all, men are going to look. And if those men are very perverted in their thinking in which this society has somewhat kind of trained men and women both like to be very perverted but nine times out of ten if you have a young man who doesn't really care like that and he sees a young woman that he finds attractive she's dressed like a trick tramp he's gonna go up to her he's gonna get them digits and then five days into conversation with you he's gonna ask you to netflix and chill i mean sometimes it don't even take five days sometimes it's the same night and if you go to his house and netflix and chill with him don't be walking away talking about why are men such you know all these men want is one thing you gave it to him you know what i'm saying you freaking gave it to him and you were dressed like that in the first place. That's why he stepped up to you. You over there talking about oh, men are all the same. And the men just want the same thing. And they just want one thing only. You know. And you giving it to them and stuff. On the first day. Dealing with them. It's like. You get. You're literally getting. What you asked for. You know what I'm saying. Yeah it is true. That man is a hoe. But you will hold too. Another point that I guess I forgot to make in that video is the simple fact that I believe these women know what they're doing. Like, why don't you just be real and honest with yourself? Like, you know, good and well, how I be seeing the memes on the internet, girls, we talking about how they getting cute for the day and all that type of stuff, right? 
So definition of getting cute is mean basically meaning you're trying to dress so that you look attractive, right? So you getting cute automatically means I gotta wear something that's exposing my flesh, right? You feel like getting cute is wearing some tight leggings and a t-shirt with some Jordans on and you just clapping and jiggling all over the place, right? That's your definition of what cute is. That's like legit. I see girls all the time, whether I'm at work or whether I'm in the store or just different people that I've come to know in my life who I've heard them say that they dressing up so that they can look cute for the day, right? But then when you see them, they're dressed in something very inappropriate. Booty shorts, um, stockings or leggings, um, tight jeans, um, very loose, thin fabric shirt. Look like they wearing curtains that got woven into stretchy t-shirts. And they talking about they looking cute for the day. Yeah, that's what your definition of looking cute is. Who you looking cute for? Hmm? Oh, you looking cute for these Negroes walking around here. That's going to be complimenting because you on the down low, you know you flattered by that crap. Like, you know good and well you flattered by that stuff. But you try to act like you, you really don't like it. Oh, I, I can't stand the attention that I be getting. These dudes be looking at me like I'm a piece of me. You know, good and well, you enjoy that. So that, that's why you keep going out there dressed like that. I hear the same thing from a lot of girls all the time. You know, good and well, when you put that outfit on, you's going to attract that attention. And you wanted that attention. Like, just go on and admit it. The same reason why some of these same women be freaking... Netflix and then chilling with these dudes when they ask for it because on the down low you wanted that that's your desire for companionship and a relationship just simply being perverted now your desires and your hormones have been perverted so you think that the closest thing to finding love is finding a sexual relationship so you dress like you want a sexual relationship when really deep down inside you just want a man by your side. You just want to know that a man wants you. Man, look in the mirror and be honest with yourself for a change. That is the exact reason why a good 99.9% .9 of the women who I've seen be dressed like that and be complaining about men only wanting one thing, they be getting pregnant out of wedlock, have a couple of babies, probably messed around with somebody a week ago you know different things like that that's that's the reason why like, you can't be real with yourself you can't look in the mirror you can't look at things the way they are but you know that you have this thing going on deep down on the inside but you don't want to face it you say you just want to blame men exclusively for all your problems Man, the man ain't innocent. I mean, once you lay down with somebody, you become their equal. So if I'm telling you that you acting like a hoe and, he, and you messing with these men, they are hoes too. Like, y'all are both equal, but you can't put the whole blame on the man for laying with you, getting you pregnant, or for calling you a slut or a hoe when you was dressed like that like you you went out there dressed like that yeah if he put his hands on you and rape you he deserved to be castrated he deserved the ultimate punishment you know what i'm saying but you also asked for that attention too you did you freaking did psa public service announcement news flash you asked for that attention okay Get that through your thick head. I'm Elijah Y'all Right. I'm going to end this video real quick. Just felt like I had to cover that again. I had to respond to those comments because I'm like, y'all totally missed the point of my video. You know, it is what it is. People are going to hear what they want to hear and they're going to jump to conclusions that they feel that they should jump to. You know what I'm saying? I can't wake everybody up.
but I can shine a light. I can display some common sense. If you don't want the common sense, that's on you. Like I said, you are your own person. You have the sovereign right to live your life however the heck you want to live it. But don't get mad when them consequences start to come around. Anyway, peace.